This video walks through the code for operating a servo with the micro bit. The servo is what the hand in this video is attached to, and the code makes the servo rotate between 0 and 180 degrees, causing the hand to look like it's waving. For a full description on how to build the box and attach the hand, and for more complex programming options, please check the notes for a link to a downloadable PDF. This video has a companion blog post which is also listed in the notes. Now we'll get to the code. We want to turn the servo on when the A button is pressed and turn it off when the B button is pressed. So the first thing we'll need to do is pull out an on button pressed block. We're going to duplicate this and we'll make one of them A and then set this one to B. And I'm going to get rid of the forever block because I'm not going to use that in this program. All action will be handled in these two event blocks and we'll initialize a couple of things in the on start block as well. Now we want to set up a variable we can use to tell the code if the servo is moving or not. To do that, go into variables, click on make a variable. Now type in the name of the variable and I'm going to call mine moving. Then click on OK. Now I'm going to click on the set moving to and drag it out and place it in the on start block. You don't really need to do this for this particular program, but I always like to try to initialize my variables in the on start block to make sure there's nothing weird stored in them. So I'm going to do that. And so I have moving set here and I want it initialized to zero. The next thing we want to do is make sure the servo is set to 90 degrees before we run the code. Because in real life, the movement of the servo may not be aligned with the speed at which the code is processing. So to make sure the two work together, sometimes you need to put in some extra little buffers. And in this case, what we're going to do is put in some pauses. And we're also going to set the servo up so it's at 90 degrees before we start coding to make sure it doesn't do anything funky when you go from 180 to 0 or vice versa. So I'm going to go into Advanced, scroll down to Pins and then scroll down there to servo right pin and this top one is the one we want drag that into the moving command or into this on start underneath moving so the first item we need to set is the pin and if you look at the bottom of the microbit simulator you'll see three numbers zero one and two and those are all pads where you can attach something and in this case we're going to attach a servo and we're going to attach it to pin zero or p zero on the block. Now I'll change the 180 to 90. If we test this in the simulator right now, so if I go ahead and stop it and start it, you can see it go to 90 and set itself. Now we want to handle the behavior when the buttons are pressed. When button A is pressed, the first thing we want to do is set moving to 1. So I'm going to copy this command uh, and you could drag a new one out if you want and set the value to 1. 1 in Boolean logic is the same as true, and we're going to use this as a Boolean variable to when it's set to 1, it'll be true, and when it's set to 0, it'll be false. To make it rotate, we'll turn the servo from 0 to 180 back to 0 and to 180 again uh, with a half second pause between each rotation. Since we are going to have a behavior that we do over and over, we want to create a loop and put those commands in the loop. So I'm going to go to loop and select while fault, place it underneath the set moving. Now this fault is just a placeholder, so we want to put something in here that's going to evaluate to true. And so then it's while true, and it'll do the set of commands we put in here. And the thing we're going to put in here that'll be true is the variable moving. So basically when moving is set to one, then this set of commands will be performed over and over. The first command we want is a servo right pin, so I'm going to duplicate this one. You could drag a new one out if you want. Place it in the while loop, and then uh, set 90 to 0. Then we need a pause command, so I'm going to go into basic and pull out a pause. And place it under the servo block in the while loop. And we want to pause for a half a second, which is 500 milliseconds. Now we want these two commands repeated, so I'm going to duplicate the servo right, place it under the pause, set it to 180 though, and then 
have another pause after that. There. Now we can test this. I'm going to click on the A button. And we can see it goes back and forth. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is to set up the code to stop the servo, and that's going to be in the B block. So I'm going to start by making a copy of set moving to and dragging that into the on button be pressed and, and leaving it at zero and that will signify false or stop. Then I'll make a copy of the pause block just to make sure that any action is complete before um, before we uh, reset the servo to 90 degrees. And then we're going to go ahead and, and duplicate a servo right pin, duplicate, and then this one's set to 90, so we'll just stick it there underneath the pause block. And that's it. So now let's test it again. So I'm going to press button A, and we can see the servo moving back and forth, and then I'm going to press button B. And it stops and goes back to 90 degrees. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you want more tips and resources for teaching beginning programming, please subscribe to my newsletter. There is a link for that in the video notes as well. See you next time.